Hey folks, what's going on? It is your boy, Angel R. Talk. You're listening to the NYC Talking Podcast, and I am your host. The city of New York, Boricua from the Bronx. <laughs> Let's talk about medication. Jesus Christ, y'all. I've been working with a new doctor. I'm not going to reveal their name right now or any details because we're still kind of figuring it out. And I haven't made a full determination about how I feel about their their program. So I'm still waiting on that. In time, once we've established where we're at, then I'll, I'll provide an honest review, a detailed review about the process, the practice, and, and how I feel about it and stuff. And we'll go from there. But for now, the medications that they've added to my life and that they've added for me to take have brought out the absolute worst of what I am. Now I am going to, I'm going to bring up an article because I did write about this and I would like to uh, to speak on the specific medications, right? Um, first I was on Lexapro. Five milligrams of Lexapro, I was fine, but I still couldn't quite sleep in my bed. So they brought me up to 10 to see if I could lay down and not have the panic attacks come forth. 10 didn't really do the trick. I still had the anxiety attacks when I lay down or put my CPAP mask on. In addition to that, on 10 milligrams, I couldn't finish sexual engagement. I couldn't finish. I, as much as I try, <laughs> nothing was coming forth. You know what I'm saying? So they put me back down to five and then it's hit or miss. Sometimes I could finish. Sometimes I could not. From Lexapro, they moved me to a product called Pristique, which is supposed to be a newer generation of the Lexapro in that world of medication. It works on uh, serotonin, but also norepinephrine or norepinephrine or whatever the fuck it's called, that, that freaking chemical. And it's basically the same scenario. On, on one pill, I'm pretty good. I'm all right. Um, I can finish. Sometimes I have a little harder time than others. They tried two pills. Couldn't finish. It was too much. And so we're on one pill. In addition to that, let's see what he did here. I'm just going over here to give you the right information. He gave me a product called Topamax. I tried Topamax. One pill, I was kind of okay. Then he bumped me up to two pills. Uh, mind you, these doses are still what he calls pediatric or like baby doses, like really low doses, because we've discovered through trial and error that I am highly sensitive to these medications. So he puts me on Topamax, we do one for a several number of days, and we're supposed to go up all the way to four. By the time I got to two, Topamax was making me highly sensitive, highly emotional, very, very like sad and depressed and 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 feeling like crying and stuff, just really affected me in that sense. So from that, he added Wellbutrin, which is supposed to raise and combat depression. So he added Wellbutrin to the mix to see if we could keep working that combination, the original plan. Now the Wellbutrin started giving me elevated anxiety feeling. So when I would take the Wellbutrin, I would feel anxiety. I'd feel nervous, like an anxiety attack coming. So we stopped Wellbutrin. And then we went back to one on Topamax and I stuck to that for a while. And then Topamax, even on the one, started to give me those similar overly emotional feelings. Um, the same scenario as the two, but taking it with one just took a little longer. Right? Um, we covered Wellbutrin. So then he took me off of Topamax all together and told me to take Pristique. And then he added another medication called Abilify. Now, Abilify, I was like mad jealous and tripping. Abilify had me so fucking angry. It had me so aggressive. It made me such a miserable person to be around and just a miserable person. Like everything, like I'm telling you guys, any little thing, was being blown so out of proportion in my head. Everything. I mean, I felt like, like, yo, like scorched earth on everything. I was reaching the point where I was like, I didn't, 
I didn't even want to be in a relationship of how how angry and, and uncomfortable I felt. That's where my brain was going on this medication. Like that's, and I've never screamed at my wife. I've never raised my voice at her, mistreated her. And I didn't do it then either. But these were the thoughts going through my mind. And I spoke to her about how I was feeling. And in those conversations, again, everything in my head is being blown out of proportion. Again, I didn't scream at her or anything, but there's this desperation inside my mind. There was this, this feeling of panic and desperation that like I was losing control. I'm losing my wife. I'm losing everything. Like, like it was, my mind was out of control. And that was on a vilify. That pill brought out the absolute worst traits that I have inside of me. Now, that's not to say that Abilify made me that person because I grew up in an old school Latino home with a very jealous, possessive father. And, and to me, that was normal. When I was a kid, that's how I was with my sister. I was very protective, very like, like you don't talk to boys, blah, blah, blah. You know, like I was like that. And then as I got older, um, in my 20s, especially in my first marriage, I was still very possessive with my then wife about things like, you know, don't, you don't hang out with men, you know, you don't talk to men, whatever. Like I was really bad. And as I've gotten older and older, I've grown, I've progressed and I've left all those things behind. I've buried them. I've gotten rid of them. I'm not like that anymore. That's not to say it's entirely gone. It's, it's in there somewhere. And every once in a while, it'll rear its ugly, ugly head. But while on this medication, that motherfucker had free reign. It's like if you ever watched Naruto and you remember the red fox, you know, the, the, the nine-tailed fox was caged. And then when he breaks it out, the fox comes out and goes on a rampage. And that's kind of how I felt inside my head. Just complete and utter chaos, madness, jealous like you can't imagine. Like it was just like like horrible. And, and even my wife and my son were like, yo, you got to, you know, you got to stop that medication, you know, like it's really make, and I, I knew it too. I realized that like, it's really, I hated the way I felt. I hated, absolutely hated the way I felt. It was miserable. I felt so miserable and I'll never touch that shit again. I don't give a fuck what anybody tells me. That Abilify fucking brought out the worst in me. Now, it may have been the Abilify combined with all the other stuff. I think, uh, I know my mom took it for a while and she was beneficial on it. So maybe it's the combination. Maybe it's my particular chemistry. It seems that everything that he's done to work with my dopamine has not worked out well. So maybe my dopamine is just fine and you put more of it and it just fucks shit up. Like, I don't know. Um, but I'm telling you guys, it was insane. I couldn't believe the way I felt. And it was like... If I can't have my way, then I'm going to fucking burn it all to the ground. These were my thought processes. And I, I, of course, I didn't act on them. But that that struggle, that tension, all that stuff was inside of me. So clearly, I wouldn't be the greatest person to be around because I'm struggling inside with like going scorched earth and destroying everything. And on my outside, trying to appear calm. The, the, those men were nuts, y'all. I understand now how some people out there go go nuts and do crazy stuff when on medication because i mean this was a low dose imagine a higher dose or something that's even stronger that gives you that 10 times magnified imagine the level of 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 damage you could do if you're walking around like that that was nuts so i empathize and i kind of understand a little of where mentally ill people are coming from with medication and stuff because that particular medication like it really like brought out the worst in me and I can't imagine how much worse it could have gotten if I'd continue or up the dose you got to be careful with meds work with your doctor um as you're taking them if you notice changes in yourself like that oh and I was having crazy ass dreams too really violent crazy dreams so if you notice these things happening tell your doctor right away because like in my case, you might need to stop them and always try to keep your wits about you. So like even while I was under the control of these medications, I still knew 
who my wife is. I knew how she operates. I know that she's not going to do anything bad. And knowing that, it helped me kind of just be cool, you know? But yeah, never again. Never again. You are listening to the NYC Talking Podcast. www.nyctalking.com Please like NYC Talking on Facebook. Please follow Angel R. Talk on Twitter and Instagram. We are NYC Talking, the realest lifestyle blog ever. Thanks for listening.